For some of you that are trying to remove the sky, here's a quick little shortcut that you can use. We're going to get ourselves the image and drag it into Photoshop. And the first thing you'll think is, well, this is going to be quite hard because I'm going to have to select the object and then delete the background or vice versa. I'll have to select the background or the sky and then delete it. Here's a quick little shortcut for you. If you have your adjustments open and if you don't, it's fine. You can go to window and have the adjustments open. You want to click on the background and then get yourself a threshold, which is right here. And pretty much you want to look through it and have a look at a point where most of your object is darker compared to the sky. Most of the time the sky will be light. So that's when it separates it. And for me, 173 is decent. So I'm going to close this down. And the next thing to do is I'm going to go to the quick selection tool, which is right here. If you don't have it selected, you can right click and then click on the top one. Put it on, let's say 400 and then have it on the plus. Now that you've got it, all you got to do is left click and select the Y area. Once you've got that selected, you can then hide your threshold and you can see the sky has been selected. Next thing to do is left click and unlock your background. So it's a layer. And then all you got to do is press delete. And there we go. We have deleted our background. Next up, you want to press control D or command D to deselect. And let's say we want to get ourselves a different sky. We're going to drag ourselves the dark sky, the nighttime sky. You can adjust it and move it around where you want it to go and double left click on it. I'm just going to sharpen this. So if I go to filter, go down to sharpen and then sharpen the image. I've got myself a little sharpness and I'm also going to convert it into a small object and now it's back to normal. And then all you got to do is move this one underneath your object. And now we have a different sky. Now that we've changed it to nighttime mode, all you got to do is click on your first object, get yourself a brightness and contrast, and then turn this all the way down and then put yourself 50 contrast. You want to hold alt and then when this icon pops up in the middle, you want to left click on it and this will only apply it to your object. We can also click on the background and give ourselves a little bit more contrast. Let's put this up to 50 and that looks a lot better. It removes the whiteness and that makes it look more natural. Same again, you can hold alt and then left click on it and it will only apply to the bottom one. The other problem is this is a bit too dark now and we need to give it a little bit of a light. And to do this, all you got to do is create yourself a mask, get yourself the brush tool and put it to a decent size. So let's say 2400 and make sure it's on feather mode. So the hardness is on zero. Once you've done that, you want to make sure you have a black color and then you want to click on here where your mask is. And then all you got to do is brighten up some areas on top. So it isn't all dark. Some areas are lighter as well. The other problem is if we quickly zoom into this image, you can see some white areas. This is the bits that aren't selected or didn't do as well. Now there's a quick way to do this. You can save yourself some time. So if you click on this image right here, so what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a solid color. So if you click on here and get yourself a solid color, go with a black. It's easier to see then. And we'll keep this here as an example. Next up, we're going to go over to the eraser tool and then we're going to go to the middle one, which is the background eraser tool. You want to make sure the middle one selected. So sample in once you want to go back on your layer zero. And then all you got to do is select the white color and just remove it from the image. So pretty much what this will do is whatever color you click on, that's the color it will remove. And as you can see, it's removing it from our image. And it just saves ourselves some time from having to manually do it yourself. If you wanted to, you can be more accurate and you can use the polygonal lasso tool, which is right here. To use the polygonal lasso tool, all you got to do is left click once, select the bits that you want. It's similar to the pen tool, but it doesn't have any points. And to connect it back to the first one, you hold control and left click and then you press delete. It's as simple as that. But most of the time, because this is zoomed out, you're not really going to notice it as much. So you can get away with just doing this technique right here. And I know there's still a little bit white areas. But if we look at some other bits, for example, here, we can keep doing the technique. Remove it from here as well. 
remove this bit. We're gonna get ourselves this bit there as well. If you wanted to, you can increase the tolerance so it's a little bit higher. Then it's more aggressive then. So as you can see, it is applying it a lot more now. But you need to make sure you don't select the wrong colors, otherwise it'll do that. So that's not looking too bad right now. I'm going to zoom out. To zoom in and out, all you got to do is hold Alt and use the scroll wheel. And that lets you zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to go back to this one and just try and get a bit more of this one. Another thing that you can do is you can right click on it, go to blending options and then get yourself a stroke and then set the stroke to one, have it on the inside and put it on screen and this will cut your image edges a little bit more so it looks a little bit better. So if we have a look at here, this is another part that we missed. And that is pretty much it. If you spend a lot more time on it, you can make it look a lot better, a lot neater. But I'm only going to show you an example. So I think it's done quite well to say the results look like this. And it didn't take too long. I literally did it really quick to show you all an example. Because honestly, I couldn't think of anything more helpful than something like this. Especially if you're going to be someone like me who would actually go around all of this selecting it manually. And for the very last bit, we're going to add ourselves a little touch onto this image to make it look a little bit more better. And we're going to get ourselves a photo filter and select the one that says cooling filter. And this is pretty much complete. This just gives your image a little bit more of a blue tint and makes it look like it's actually nighttime. And that is pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.